Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, we'll discuss about the salary for data scientists in the UK because I've been getting a lot of uh, questions related to this. So yeah, that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. Um, and I have divided this into several sections like if you are a fresher or if you have some experience but it is not a relevant experience or if you have a relevant experience or if you have lots and lots of experience but maybe it's not relevant. So we will discuss all the scenarios and I will give you exact uh, figure because I have some of my friends, they have started uh, working as a data scientist and uh, their salaries. So I'll be uh, sharing those things and I will also share my salary at the end of the video. So yeah, if you are interested, uh, do stick to the end of the video and uh, you will get all the information. But if you are new here, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cradle family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys. Uh, and also I do live streams on uh, Saturday 12 p.m. BST. Yeah, so you can join live stream as well if you have any specific questions. I always answer questions there as well. But if you can also post uh, your uh, questions or queries in the comment section, I'll be more than happy to answer that as well. So yeah, with that being said, let's start our discussion. Uh, so the first thing first, uh, as a fresher, if you are coming here, if you have no experience, you have just finished your bachelor's and you are coming here to pursue your master's. After that, uh, you can expect uh, somewhere around 28 to 30, 32 uh, thousand pounds per annum. Uh, that could be your salary. And it also varies and depends a lot on the company and the region. So if you are going to a bigger city, it can go up to 35 as well. Uh, and if it's a startup probably they will pay you less if it's a big company they might pay you more so it varies on that but in general i have seen some of my friends who were complete fresher and they have got the offer uh, which is ranging from 28 to 32 uh, some people have got 35 but they are going to london so london is a bit expensive place to live in so that's why the salary is a little bit higher there um, and also it varies on if the company is sponsoring your visa or not. So if a company is sponsoring your visa, then probably they will reduce your salary a bit because they will be paying for your sponsorship. So they will take money from you only. So that is there. Now let's talk about someone who has at least two to three years of experience, could be relevant experience. So if you have that much of experience, you can expect salary from 32 to 35. It can go till uh, 40 as well, depending on the location, depending on if you are getting a sponsored uh, job or if it's a non-sponsored job. If it's a non-sponsored job, probably you will uh, get more salary because then they don't have to pay for your sponsorship, right? But if they are paying for your sponsorship, then they will make your salary tell less. So if you are going to London, you can expect around 40 or something. Uh, maybe 45 as well if you are uh, in uh, smaller cities you can probably expect uh, till 35 if they are sponsoring your visa if they are not sponsoring your visa then it could be 40 even 45 so something like that so that is the uh, salary range and uh, some of my friends uh, who have actual experience or let's talk about myself because i have around two to three years of experience, a relevant experience. And the salary which I'm getting or the offer that I have is uh, 35,000 uh, pounds with sponsorship. So that is what uh, my salary is. And now let's move on to someone who has a little bit uh, more experience. So one of my friend, uh, she has experience of around five to six years. And some part of her experience was actually relevant because she was an analyst. She is getting 45K and uh, they are not sponsoring her visa so that's there uh, and she is in the newcastle which is a smaller place so considering that the salary is really good but then it is not a sponsored one so like i told you if company is sponsoring your visa your uh, salary could be uh, less but if they are not sponsoring your visa then they can pay you that amount uh, so it works something like that i mean they don't say that specifically but it's just assumption and is the observation that i have seen uh, so yeah, that's there. And then there is another friend. Uh, she had around uh, three years of experience, but it was irrelevant experience. She is getting around 34 uh, from the university and it is a sponsored job. So that's a good thing that she is getting sponsorship, but the salary is less, of course. So that's there. Uh, but then she is in the Newcastle itself. So I think it should not be a problem. 
Now let's move on to someone who has more than five years of experience. So if you have experience more than five years and it's a relevant experience, then you can expect a salary from 45 to 50, even 60K, maybe more than that uh, if they are sponsoring your visa. Uh, so some something like that. Uh, but if you have experience which is not relevant, so one of my classmates, uh, she was from pharmaceutical background and she had around eight, nine years of experience in pharmaceutical domain. So and she has now got a job as a data scientist uh, and she has to move to London and uh, her uh, offer is around 35. So considering the location, which is London, the salary is very less. But uh, as you can see that she had so much of experience, but still it was irrelevant experience. So she was considered as uh, fresher. So that is there. Uh, but I think she was specifically looking for something like that because she was uh, still not uh, confident that she can handle the full-blown project on her own so she wanted something where she can still learn uh, more about all those things so she applied mainly for graduate roles so that's why probably she is getting less so if you are someone who is very confident and still you have uh, irrelevant experience or experience which is not uh, very technical uh, probably you can try to apply for jobs where they are paying more and hopefully you will find something so yeah that is there so if i have to summarize everything and uh, if i have to tell you how much salary you can expect so as a fresher if you have no experience in uh, data science or data analytics you can expect from 28 to 32 it can go up to 35 as well if you are going to bigger cities if you are someone who has experience from uh, two to three years you can expect a salary from let's say 32 to 40 depending on the city, depending on your uh, visa status. And if you are someone who has more experience, uh, let's say uh, five years or maybe more than that, then you can, again, depends on relevant experience and irrelevant experience. So if you have relevant experience, uh, it can be from 45 to 60. And if it is irrelevant experience, it can be till uh, 45 or at least 40 to 45 maybe. So yes, uh, experience do count uh, even if it is not something which is related to data science. So you can still fetch a little bit higher package as compared to someone who is complete fresher. But uh, still, uh, if you have relevant experience, it counts even more. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and I explained uh, all the scenario based on what I have. Uh, in my batch and now that you know uh, what salary you can expect and if you want to be uh, successful in data science market in the uk you can check out uh, this video here uh, it tells you everything about like what things you need to learn so yeah uh, that's it uh, hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things so yeah bye see you in the next video